Hi, I'm Tara Kate, and welcome back to the Bird Artist Cottage. This week, I've got a studio tour for you. I recorded one of these a while back. A lot has changed since then, and I'm gonna give you a full tour of everything, what's on the walls, storage, the whole shebang. So, I hope you enjoy watching, and I'll see you at the end. This is what I think of as the back wall behind my painting desk. I used foam core boards to create this vision board wall. It includes illustration work by Jen Lobo, Jane Kim, who's also known as Ed Inkdwell, and Tracy Lewis, whose work in watercolor I find to be very, very beautiful as well as some ideas I have for a project that I'd like to undertake creating a more natural looking photography backdrop for birds out in the cottage garden. On the next panel, some of my own work as well as some reference and inspiration. Then this panel is all my own work. That's a juvenile robin in watercolor that I never really quite finished. The toucan that I just completed in Gansai Tambi. There is a widgeon that I completed recently in graphite, scrub jay illustration, the American goldfinch on the right, and then a pair of spotted partalotes that I actually painted quite a long time ago, but I really still like quite a lot. And then on this panel, two mixing charts. I don't really often do mixing charts, but these two have proved to be extremely useful. The top one is Gansai Tambi, and the bottom one is all Daniel Smith watercolor of a palette I put together myself. Also on this wall is this folding table made by Ikea, which is obviously in its folded state. The top drawer is filled with illustration items, extra micron pens, erasers, pen nibs for dip pens. This is mostly adhesives, some other flotsam and jetsam tape, glue sticks. And in this drawer are all my framing supplies, wire. Oh, I'd forgotten those were in there. Wire pliers, hammer, and then on the opposite side, I put some of my chargers in the top drawer because of the proximity to the plug and the, the heat gun. On the top, you may notice that I have a beer can and the reason why is I really love this illustration. This is Trippin' Animals beer. The beer was good, the illustration is even better. Along the wall, I also have my tabletop easel. This is where my backpack gets parked every day. Back in this corner are some of my photography equipment, tripods, boom arm, and so on. Then on this piece of furniture, I have some of my art and then sketchbooks, camera equipment, and more sketchbooks. Then to the right of the cabinet is a large folding table that I've got a drop cloth over. This is where my current projects are hanging out as well as this unfinished painting of a pair of toeys that's been sitting here for an embarrassingly long period of time. And then in the back corner are some panels and some items that will be given away, including that black-throated sparrow you may have seen last week. And I'll back up so that you can see the softbox light. I have two of these, one of the best purchases I ever made. Got them on Amazon, very inexpensive, they're wonderful. Then I have my painting table. This is a Flexa Spot adjustable table, electric. 
absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. I put it together myself and it works great. And as you can see, the painting table looks out through the big glass doors so that I can see outside while I work. That feels very important to me because I really, really, really love nature. And you'll also see that there is a piece of plywood because when I'm filming, I have found that I like the plywood better than the shiny surface of the table because the plywood is matte and unfinished. You see, that's my iPad. I have some paper towels and binoculars because sometimes I'm looking outside looking at birds. Uh, my pencil sharpener, my log book, you may remember from uh, previous episodes where I talked about productivity and also my everyday carry. That's my log book. And then this is a glass florist frog, I think is what these are called. It has holes in it. Great for holding pens, pencils, scissors, things that get used day in and day out. I forgot to mention my little footstool down here. I got this, I think, at Levenger many years ago, and it is super for resting my feet on. It's adjustable and is really, really nice and helps keep me comfortable when I'm sitting at the painting table. On this side of the studio, I have my storage cabinet with my little collection, ever-growing collection of stickers. That one's mine. That one's mine. That one came from St. Louis Art Supply, REI. I don't know the artist on this one. I don't remember where I bought this. I bought this on our summer trip. That's Shauna Trumbly, Peak Sports Annex, local. Don't know the artist on that one. And Morning Glory Cafe, which is in Eugene and is one of my favorite breakfast cafes. And then inside, I have panels and some supplies here on the top that I don't use very often. Then on the shelf below it is watercolors, watercolor supplies, watercolor paper. Then below that, this is all colored pencils and colored pencil supplies, and then some supplies for doing window cut which I started last year and then stopped and would really like to go back to. And then this bottom shelf is where everything lands that I'm not sure quite where to put it. I'm sure every artist has a shelf like that. I have a lot of larger items that are stored standing up, including large sketch pads, my light pad that I use for tracing, and watercolor paper and then there is my apron which I don't use very often and the sketch of the watercolor painting you saw a few moments ago the unfinished one and now we're back to the wall again well I hope you enjoyed that little inside look into the studio here at the Bird Artist Cottage and I will look forward to seeing you again next week. Before I go though, I want to remind you that I am celebrating five years as a full-time artist this month in August 2021, and I'm doing some giveaways. So if you'd like to be in on those, it's helpful to subscribe to my newsletter because that's one of the ways that you can enter the giveaway. You can find that link in the description below. And also follow me on Instagram at Tara Kate Designs because I'm having some giveaways over there as well. So I thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next week here at the Bird Artist Cottage. Bye now.